the nuclear family was about putting a group of people in this environment that perhaps don't belong. It was about putting this sort of slightly awkward, completely normal, nerdy family in this space that had really harmonious, but at the same time really clashed. The striped skirt of one twin with the striped shirt of the father, textiles repeating in order to link. Of course it's still fashion, of course they're still extra, but what would the gatekeepers to heaven have wanted? And I think that's a mother, a father and two lovely children a 70s lapel, the dagger collar, mid-century almost Prada-esque ginghams and stripes. The main references for the twins was the ugly stepsisters or Kubrick's twins in The Shining with wigs by Charles Stanley, this hybrid 70s mullet with a nerdy fringe. The father, played by Thomas Borland, is a sexy but a bit sleazy. It's so macho and I don't think there's any gender fluidity to, to that look. But then we got it back from where I had some of the pieces made and it just wasn't right. I decided to line the sleeve in wool and it all felt wrong. I took the sleeve and ripped it and then started hacking away at the hem because they'd been through something in order to have arrived here. I mean, we're talking about heaven. They've clearly died in some way. The mother was a bit jaded and a bit removed from the story. Many of the female characters are born out of conversations with my mother and all the problems that women go through in society. And then bringing Lou in as the mother with the jewellery designed by James Tatner Evans. There was a perfect magazine reference of Kristen McMenemy and 60s housewife. And then cinematically, the car arrived was a mixture of the remains of the day. Great headlight shot from Revolutionary Road. When the car pulls away, that was a Narnia reference. The family had been abandoned there. That car's not coming back.